Hi guys, now as we continue, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make something like this. So while you're listening, also watch and learn. In today's video, I'm going to be continuing with the basic fundamentals in mobile graphic design. Now in the previous video, I treated the first category under which I will be covering the lessons. Now in this video, I'm going to be taking the second category, which is the graphics design for personal use or monetization. Under this category, I'll be treating all that you need and also your questions on how to go about making graphical content for clients as a side hustle or as a full-time job. What you should and shouldn't do. In essence, what I'll be talking here mostly about is the copyright strikes and claims. Now, aside the time factor, of course, we all know graphics design needs a lot of time, especially when designing from scratch. A lot of effort needs to be put in, which takes time. But it's also a cool activity where your skills and imaginations are being tested. And if you're, and if you're that good, you can also go ahead and make some change some change some some little changes from it because truth be told there is money to be made in graphics in graphical designs you can even go full flung into a full-time graphics designer and still earn a comfortable living out of it but a lot of things need to be considered before monetizing before monetizing your crafts a lot of strict rules and policies govern the graphics design world that if you're not careful enough you might end up jailed or fined or find yourself in court cases if care is not taken copyright claims copyright claims now it's normal for people even you to create a piece and hate to see it copied somewhere without your consent so what these people do is put a copyright policy behind their creations so you need to be careful when carrying out graphical graphics design. Your choices of applications to use, images to use, backgrounds to use, logos to use in your designs, and even fonts should go through a thorough research, making sure you are clear to use them without risking any copyright strike or claim. You shouldn't just use any design material you find online without first knowing what rules govern its usage. In essence, it's it's um, policy, it it policy usage, and copyright claims and um, and every information you can get to enable you know whether or not the app is cleared for commercial use, especially when you are trying to monetize your creations. Now, stick around to the end of the video and also do not. Be sure to not miss any episode of this um, topic because I'm going to be treating a lot of things that you're not going to find almost anywhere. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel today. And in my next video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the softwares to use for your creations, both for personal and commercial use. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel today and see you guys in the next episode. Pinus out. You are now leaving the shores of Finals Game Space. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so we can go together while certain trends with every new update.